so on and so forth related to all these things. Okay. Now, what about materials? How can you classify the different types of materials? So the classification comes, uh, there are different ways by which you can classify. Ek hai elemental classification. That is from the periodic table. Dusra classification is based upon the properties or the structure of the materials. In both aspects, we will basically we can classify the materials. Now, okay. How can I uh, omit the whole screen? Okay, I can just add it. So, based upon uh, elementary classification that I am coming, that is based upon the periodic table. So, how can we arrange the elements? इसके बाद वाले में अलग से लिखा है। Classify them as metals and non-metals. So, ये जो part है, this part, we call them as 3D 4S group. 3D 4S group और they include transition metals. बहुत सारे मतलब नेक्स्ट में या बुक्स में तुम लोग देखोगे कि दे आर कॉलिंग द होल ब्लॉक एस ट्रांजिशन मेटल्स बट दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट 
ओके सारे यहाँ पे ट्रांजेक्शन मेटल्स हैं नहीं ओनली फ्यू ऑफ दिन ट्रांजेक्शन मेटल्स विल गो टू दैट यहाँ पे दिस ये वाला जो पार्ट है दिस ग्रुप इसमें इफ यू टेक द फर्स्ट थ्री एलिमेंट्स दे आर कॉल्ड मेटलॉइड्स ये जो पार्ट है दे आर सेमी कंडक्टर्स सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्लासीफाई अच्छा इसके अलावा दिस इज हाउ द एलिमेंट क्लासिफिकेशन इज डन सो द नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मटीरियल कम्स थ्रू प्रॉपर्टीज और स्ट्रक्चर Based upon that, we can classify the metal, uh, classify the materials as metals. Its properties are what? They are conductors. 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 Conductors are what? Electricity and heat. Second class of uh, materials, we are we will call them as non-metals, or we can call them as dielectrics. Or you can call them as insulators. So different <coughs> insulators. As a metal circuit example, though, like copper. See what? Non-metals or dielectric insulators, they are basically uh, ceramics. We will see in the ceramics, glass and ceramics. So, uh, like A L two O three, a metal for any kind of non-metal, a solid. They are ceramics. They don't conduct heat. Another, another uh, type of uh, material. Polymers, they are basically hydrocarbons. As <laughs> now, as we are talking about metals, uh, from metals we can have another type of material called alloys. सारा जो मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग अभी तो मेटलॉजिकल एंड मशीन्स इंजीनियरिंग हो गया पहले इट यूज्ड टू बी ओनली मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग सारा जो मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग वाज बेस्ड अपॉन मेकिंग अ गुड अलार्म सारा का सारा जो इंटेलेक्ट जो था व्हाटेवर कैंसर जो था तो सोल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ मेटलॉजिकल इं Was to make it color, okay. and uh, here, uh, why why it was uh, so uh, because it was based upon. Sorry, here it was based upon some concepts, some ideas, right? The camera is working. Okay. In this case, if you uh, so we have uh, class one, class two, class three. In three classes, we will have we can have one of the class of materials called composites. Right. Then some uh, definite uh, materials having some definite properties may come. Uh, 
semiconductors superconductors semiconductors superconductors there are lots okay now the base upon the dimension if you consider the dimension then in that dimension also you can classify the materials right is between the number and nano materials so nano is uh, same material but one of its dimensions between 1 to 100 nanometers okay so this is how by which you can classify the uh, different types of materials so what we will do hum log two aspects ko side by side karenge materials aspect ko karenge aur uske sath related jo thermodynamical फेनोमिना है यू डिस्कस दैट एंड सिंस इट इज अ लेबोरेटरी क्लास यू विल डू सम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स और एनालिसिस बोल सकते हो लाइक द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स में एक एक्सपेरिमेंट होगा ईटीए एससी इसका नाम है थर्मो इंस्ट्रूमेंट हमारे कैंपस में है राइट यू हैव सेंट्रलाइज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन फैसिलिटी सी आई एफ वहां भी ये वाले इंस्ट्रूमेंट मौजूद है देन वी विल डू सम एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑलरेडी प्लस टू भी किया है स्टिल लाइक फनो का Oh, CIF is centralized instrumental facility. Yeah, I want to have a certain tour, but I have to see in which condition this instrument is. Okay, so that uh, we can go and have a look. Thermal couple, you uh, can specific heat and all. <coughs> और हम लोग कुछ सिमुलेशन करेंगे मैथमेटिकल एंड कंप्यूटेशनल सिमुलेशन मुस मे बीडरेशन सो नॉट बट दिस इज हाउ आई डिजाइन दिस अच्छा रिगार्डिंग योर Laboratory notebook and all. One, there, everyone should make one notebook called lab. Lab notebook will be there. In that, the class notes will be there. The class notes and all. Everything will be there. Uh, class notes will be there. After that, if some assignments is given, that assignments will be there. Some uh, analysis. और इसके अलावा ये तो फिजिकल बोर्ड हो गया इन द गुल गूगल क्लास रूम मैं तो कुछ स्टडी मटेरियल्स आई एम ऑलरेडी गिविंग यू तो रहेगा ही इसके साथ आई विल टेक सम ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन क्वेज ठीक है सो दैट इज सेपरेट इसका क्रेडिट इस पेपर का है वन क्रेडिट ओनली वन लैब्स कैसे होते हैं इसका मतलब है टू आवर नियर 
that means two hour class, two to three hour class per week. But uh, I prefer that uh, I would like to enhance it to three to four, three to four hours of class per week. Depending upon the availability of the classroom and this works. Okay. So let us start uh, our discussion. So when we are talking about thermodynamics, the first thing that comes to your mind is the different laws. Okay. We have studied first law, second law. Okay. So if I arrive at the following equation is equal to minus PDE. What can you say about this equation? What can you say? It is which law? It is first and second law combined. First law and First law, kya hai? First law, you hai, but what you say? Uh, change in internal energy is equal to the heat plus the work done or minus if, if it is a uh, system. <coughs> is doing the work then start sign negative or double. So you see work we have replaced this by PD. So here uh, delta W is equal to minus work done. Pressure kya hai, there has been a change in volume and work has been done. This is the change in internal energy. This S this represents entropy. Or in other words, you can call it as dissolved. So what does this first law say? The first law say basically it is talking about the energy, the forms of energy gets transformed from one form to another. Thermal mechanical transformation ki baat ho rahi hai okay? The transfer of energy, it consists of the work done and the change in internal energy. This is what the first law is telling. Second law kya bol raha hai? Second law is telling that dq by If the reaction or the process is spontaneous, this change in entropy is always written as zero. Change in entropy can be zero or zero in the very remote cases, but all in, a, in a closed system, the change in uh, entropy is always more than zero. In both of combined we have written this law. As a two of mathematics one, two of us follow the difference between this symbol, this symbol and this symbol. Change in any physical quantity, right? Second simple differentiation of the very small change, right? There is very incremental change at the which one? Which one is a very small change? Last one, last one right, right. Okay, and what about this? Rate of change, rate of change. A rate goes at the when there is a process it, which has not yet stopped, it is continuous process. Okay. Then we use this one. Right, that's good. 
Now, uh, when we are uh, dealing with thermodynamics, we need to understand that there are certain systems and there are certain variables or potentials. Now, variables or let's call it as uh, potentials. There are three uh, aspects uh, based upon which the whole thermodynamics work. It's based upon variables for the temperature, <coughs> volume, and pressure. Okay. Potentials for the internal energy, entropy, enthalpy, <coughs> free energy, and Gibbs free energy. <coughs> and another one will be. You also know, Pele. Mu. Mu is what? Mu is called the chemical potential. Chemical potential is the potential which depends upon the number of particles or the number of entities in the system. You can write that. I need all the potentials and uh, so there are certain relations to it. We just, I think we have already studied in our first two. <coughs> then we have uh, Maxwell's law. <coughs> Maxwell's law we are going to take Asan Tarika is T equal to P. Right. So you can see that it is by the P. So, STP and ये वाला एक सेट हो गया, then just reverse it. इसको तुम उल्टा कर दो। So, negative sign, I don't think it's a negative sign. I think it's a negative sign. I think it's a negative sign. I need to correct it, right? So, just to check it, which one is having a negative sign. The fold may say, two out of four will be having a negative sign. Just check it. So, this is how the words will take place. After that, we can have CP and CB. Specific keys as constant pressure and constant volume. These are the quantities which you can do it. Yeah. Now, now as we as what about the systems? There are different ways you can uh, differentiate or classify a system. A system. Okay, so, what about so there are systems. We can also that they can be unary system. Or system having multi component. One of the systems, so from the name itself, you can understand one is having one component and one is having another component. Secondly, you can have a 
simple and a complex system. You have open uh, and closed system. You get that for different ways by which we classify it. Now, another aspect to uh, this uh, thermodynamics is called <coughs> statistical. statistical mechanics ke roop okay statistical thermodynamics or statistical mechanics uh, ye, whatever we are observing our summary of the data hai you can classify them into three different categories okay one of them satisfies the statistics called MP statistics. MP stands for Maxwell Goldman statistics. Another one is called DE statistics. D e stands for Bose Einstein statistics. Or Tisa head FP statistics. Maxwell. अच्छा इसको तुम कैसे प्रोनाउंस करते हो? ये वाला जो ये वाला जो टाउन है? बोलमैन. इस बार बोलमैन. ये और जैसा है, ठीक है? सेकंड ये और बू साइंसटाइन. और लास्ट वन इज योर मैं कुछ एग्जांपल्स देता हूं जल्दी जो भी अनुकूल इस टाइम जो हमारे गैस मॉलिक्यूल्स हैं आई कैन नथिंग कलर आई कैन शेड राइट सो दिस मैक्स कैन बी वन Uh, this is followed by the gas molecules. Maxwell Bohm was done plus two. I think we have already studied Maxwell Bohm. Bose Einstein statistics is uh, followed by certain class of materials like photons. Do you know what is a photon is? Photon, what is it? Yes, sir. It's a radio body. It's a radio body. It's a radio body. Then have you heard about this? Phonons? Phonons can come to light? Like you have for light, for sound or vibration, you have phonons. Quantized lattice vibrations are called phonons. This is called magnons. उसके बाद और एक सब्सटेंस होता है दैट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट्स कॉल्ड इसका और भी होता है मतलब बेसिक का और थिंग करते हैं स्कूपर पेयर्स कूपर पेयर कूपर पेयर क्या है इफ यू ब्रिंग टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टुगेदर Will they stick or will they repel each other? They will repel each other. Okay. But there are certain cases where we take a look at that the two electrons are exact to you. They are moving like a pair. Okay. Each of phenomena, this is called the Cooper pair. And each of phenomena it is the basis of फिलहाल में कॉल्ड सुपर कंडेंसर्स। इस बारे में हैव यू हॉर्ड अबाउट सुपर कंडेंसर्स और हैव एनी आइडिया ऑफ सुपर कंडेंसर्स? मटेरियल विच इज नॉट रेजिस्टिंग एट ऑल। 
that means if you plot the resistivity rho with respect to temperature, right? So it has been observed that at very low temperature, it was first observed in the case of Mercury. Uh, it was observed that it was first observed by Camerley Ohms. Spring, I might <coughs> not exactly spring. What he observed is that if you are uh, reducing the temperature of the mercury, the at a certain temperature which is uh, close to 4.2 Kelvin, <coughs> the Borja, zero Kelvin is the absolute zero, you cannot go to that temperature, but it is near to zero Kelvin. We have a counter resistivity. <coughs> Normally, uh, it will be conductor level. It can be conductor level. You increase the temperature, kya hota hai? Resistance, gatta ki bata hai. If you copper wires are also increasing its pressure. Okay. If you increase the temperature of the copper wire, what will happen? Will the resistance resistance will increase or decrease? Resistance will increase. Will increase. Why? Why it will increase? Don't think it that much. Both simple. Copper fuel electron scattering is allowed. Okay. So basic electricity means flow of electrons. So the flow of electrons are scattered. That means more partitions of the atom. Zara hum ke electrons will be scattered. So that will hamper it. So usually decrease. But if we keep on decreasing the temperature, okay. So it was found that at a certain critical temperature, the resistivity suddenly drops to zero. This comes up here. There is no resistance to it. So this is actually a super uh, conducting effect, and this is the major problem that is uh, formation of the Cooper pair. So how a Cooper pair is formed? हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे थर्मोडायनेमिक्स इन सुपरकंडक्टर्स वी देयर इज अ देयर इज अ सेपरेट यूनिट फॉर इट बट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सुपरकंडक्टर्स तो बट मेटल्स में किस तरह के बॉन्डिंग होते हैं व्हाट इज द टाइप ऑफ बॉन्डिंग इन मेटल्स लेट कितने टाइप के बॉन्ड्स होते हैं ओके आयनिक एक्साइड आयनिक Covalent, and another one. Okay, hydrogen one. Okay, let us put this here. Good morning. Covalent one. Can example do? Common example. We take here. Any one that is. See it for you. है ना कोलेंट बॉन्ड एनिक बॉन्ड में एग्जांपल तो एनिसियन बट वैंडरबल्स बॉन्ड व्हाट इस वैंडरबल्स बॉन्ड इस टाइपोल इंड्यूस्ड टाइपोल नहीं ठीक है बेटा नहीं बेटा हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग टू वाटर में होता है मेटल्स में जो बॉन्डिंग होता है इसको बोलते हैं मेटालिक बॉन्ड मेटालिक बॉन्ड मींस कि एक मेटल तुम ले लो सो व्हाट विल द स्ट्रक्चर विल लुक लाइक देयर विल बी आयनिक फोर्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं, जब भी ये सी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स, मतलब इसको बोलते हैं सी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स। राइट, सी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स। नाउ दिस आयन्स, इफ यू आर ऑलवेज वाइब्रेटिंग, तो अगर टेम्परेचर को कम करते जाओगे, तो वाइब्रेशन इसमें 
बट इवन इफ यू टेक द टेम्परेचर टू जीरो जो कि प्रैक्टिकली पॉसिबल नहीं है लेकिन फिर भी टेक इट टू दैट कैपेबल इवन इफ देर विल बी स्टिल ठीक है उसको बोलते हैं ना जीरो पॉइंट एनर्जी सो यू विल टॉक अबाउट दिस लेटर ऑन सो नाउ वी यू लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट सुपर कंडक्टर्स सो वी हैव टेकन द टेम्परेचर से अराउंड दोज टू जीरो कंडक्टर इज फोर पॉइंट टू तो अकाउंटिंग लाइटिस वाइब्रेशन विल बी रिड्यूस्ड बट इट विल नॉट बी सी ठीक है दिस लाइट सो बट दे विल बी एनफ टू बट बहुत बहुत कम होगा सो इस केस में वी हैव बीस आयस इसमें जो वाइब्रेशन होगा दे विल बी सफिशियंटली रिड्यूस्ड तो यू कैन कैलकुलेट दे टू बी ऑलमोस्ट स्टिल तो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मतलब इलेक्ट्रॉन पास होता है ठीक है इन आने कोर्स के बीच से इलेक्ट्रॉन पास हुआ जैसे इस रीजन में आ गया विल अट्रैक्ट आयस ओके सो द इलेक्ट्रॉन विल मेक द आयस कम टूगेदर ऐसे Like this. Initially, the line was like this. Now it will be attracted towards the electron. Okay, the same electron is being attracted. Hua, this may a this total region may a improvement in positive charge create. Hua, because of coming out those electrons in the whole region, and it's going to be like this. So the next electron. Which is following that electron due to the electricity current. Here, the outer is going to be attached due to this positive charge. Okay, so we have a electronic couple, electron, electron couple. Or it's called the Boltzmann couple. Okay, so this and the phenomena or the formation of couple pairs is going to be called as the BCS theory. तीन साइंटिस्ट के ऊपर बेस्ड है बॉडी कूपर एंड शिफर सो दिस कूपर पेयर इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉन हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉन का स्पिन इलेक्ट्रॉन स्पिन ऑफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉन एजेंट ऑफ सब इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ पॉली रेस्टोशन प्रिंसिपल है नॉ कैसे होता है इट इज लाइक दिस देन इट कम्स सो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज हैविंग एन हाफ इंजिकल स्पिन स्पिन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बट सेंस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर कमिंग टूगेदर बोजॉन्स उसको हम लोग बोजॉन्स भी बोलते हैं They have integral spins. So, put it this way. Uh, electrons. And say, uh, say bosons. It consists of two uh, pairs. They have, they have integral spin. Right. They have integral spin. These electrons are called fermions. Follow 
a statistics called FD statistics, that is Fermi derived statistics. स्टिक्स अलग है हम लोग उस पर बात में जाएंगे और लॉट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इज इन्वॉल्व सो दिस इज अनदर वे ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिन नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आई लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट एंट्रोपी आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक दैट इन स्पॉन्टेनियस प्रोसेस Entropy should be greater than zero for the take for the this process to take place. उसी तरह से Gibbs free energy process is called G. The Gibbs free energy should be always be negative. For any spontaneous process to take place, or Gibbs free energy का जो सबसे अच्छा example है, that is in the case of materials, is in the nucleation and growth process. Nucleation and growth. What is it? What is the nucleation and growth? Suppose take uh, a metal to the area. Cool metal. You apply heat and you melt it. Mold it. Okay. Now again, you are supplying. We are reducing the temperature and making it to solidify. Okay. Solidify the pore. So the first process of solidification uh, or the growth process is nucleation. What is nucleation? Few atoms will come and stick together. Which atom? Sign here. That's it. The gas. Isolated pair, they will come and then <coughs> stick together. First thing, second thing is they will coalesce. So they will keep on coming to when the process of nucleation uh, involves or the, uh, leads to formation of something called crystallites. Very small crystals. And the crystals will grow, and then ultimately it will form grains. It's a whole process, nucleation and growth process. Now it doesn't happen like that. <coughs> There are certain rules to the nucleation and growth process has to follow. So that rule is delta G. तो जितने भी तुम्हारे न्यूक्लियस क्रिस्टलाइट्स बने हैं, इस वेरी स्मॉल क्रिस्टलाइट्स, इट्स नॉट दैट ऑल ऑफ देम विल ग्रो, सम ऑफ देम विल ग्रो, सम ऑफ देम विल नॉट ग्रो, और वो डिपेंड करेगा व्हेन द रेडियस ऑफ द क्रिस्टलाइट इज ग्रेटर देन और लेस देन अ सर्टेन क्रिटिकल रेडियस and that critical radius will again depend upon <coughs> two and the its free energy d so it will have a volumetric part to it calling it as gv and it will have a surface part <coughs> yes so only then this equation of this slide will take this So this is how uh, uh, I will discuss my homework of uh, equation and growth. For example, we will enter into the details. <coughs> Then we will have to uh, actually visualize what I am doing. But for the sake of uh, just introductory class today, just understand that this Gibbs free energy plays very important role in equation and growth.
process. Yeah. So next, another important aspect. Tomare is about that phase transition, right? Phase transition is also very much related to thermodynamics. So, for the case of phase transition, you need to understand what is a phase. Phase. This is the word of phase. Critical point of water flow into the current. Water existing in three states: liquid, solid, and vapor. So these are three different phases. So critical point: pressure or temperature, or flow. So how the which is the reason for that? I think you have already studied this. Water का जो ये है liquid, ये है solid, ये है liquid. तो ये प्रोसेस सॉलिड टू लिक्विड इसको क्या बोलते हैं सॉलिड से लिक्विड मेल्टिंग बोलते हैं सॉलिड से वेबर को क्या बोलते हैं सल्यूमेशन इसका बात कोई क्लास तो नहीं है ना सल्यूशन जस्ट कोई इसके कोई भी डाउट हो तो मैं आस्क भी इंटरेक्ट करके आप इस बोल पर एंड लास्ट वन इज ये तो लिक्विड के वेपर ये ऑपरेशन आ गया तो ये जो पॉइंट है दिस इज कॉल्ड द ट्रिपल पॉइंट These lines when I draw here, different regions to allow them to be here, they are called isotherms. So, similarly, in the case of alloys, or alloy one is a substance, the first 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 one is a substance. It is an alloy of what? Basically, iron and carbon. So we can have a phase diagram of this steel. Yeah, we can put the temperature. In one of the axis and the carbon percentage in the other axis. So based upon that, you can have different types of phases. Like eight phase, जो बनता है, it's something like this. It's the result. There are it's more complicated. It's called ferrite alpha. It's called the ferrite. ये वाला जो फेज है, अच्छा फेराइट इसका जो डिस्ट्रोग्राफिक ओरिएंटेशन है, डेट इस बीसीसी, वी इंक्रीज़ द टेम्परेचर, इसको क्यों कहते हैं इंक्रीज़ द टेम्परेचर, इट विल फॉर्म अ फेज फॉर ऑस्टिनाइट, एंड इफ इंक्रीज़ द कार्बन कंसेंट्रेशन, यहाँ पे the phase one that, that is called cementite in B3C. So this is also a phase transition that is taking place. So here the law follows in the case of thermodynamics, phase transition that is called clausius clapeyron law. I think you have all heard about it. Classes Labrador, you know what I'm talking about? Plus two men? So, anyway, I'm going to go over to Classes Labrador, it's basically, it tells you the different types of phases that is taking place. Another law, the Gibbs Finnett Yellow Quadrate, based upon that, there is another law which determines these phase transition that is called Gibbs Finnett. 
is okay. Gibbs phase will be very simple. You can write F plus B is equal to C plus Very simple. What is F? F is the degree of freedom, or in this case, the number of variables. F. P is the phase. Number of phase. C is the number of components. The N is actually, uh, we N but uh, we, we assume that the uh, phase transition is taking place at one atmospheric pressure, that's why we put it as one. So, now, there is an austenite and there is a ferrite. There is another type of phase, which is called the uh, pearlite, here, where it is formed. At, say in this in this region, uh, it is where the austenite and the ferrite are in the one straight ratio. You have the alpha or gamma, you know, phase of pearlite. Pearl. Now, let's you will use the Gibbs free rule in these two cases alpha, you are alpha. Alpha to we have to find out what is N. Okay, that is our primary objective. Uh, now we need to find out what is P and what is C. What is the value of P? C kya hoga? Number of components. How many? Uh, there is iron and there is carbon. So C ho jayega. Two ya hote? Right? For all of the uh, for the whole phase diagram of iron and carbon, C is 2 because iron and carbon <coughs> components number of components. Okay. Now, what is the phase? <coughs> phase method having a particular crystallographic orientation. Okay. Crystallographic orientation must not uh, in one word you can say that certain specific way by which the atoms are arranged at the BCC. I think you know what is the BCC? Body centrifuge. So since in the case of alpha, uh, there is only one alpha, the phase is one, alpha phase. That is why we put P as equal to 1. So, according to the Gibbs free rule, what will be the value of F10? F kya hoga? C is uh, 2, uh, P is 1, what will be F? 2. two. So, it implies that there are two variables by which we can, can relate the space, or two variables, consa hai? Ek hai temperature. Entire carbon percentage. Composition of whatever you can call it. Right. But the same thing if we apply it to polite. Polite when the P ka value is 2 because there are two different phases. Right. So it will be 2. You can identify the polite by only the concentration, not the temperature. <coughs> so this is what is the Gibbs free rule. So if uh, if you increase the temperature, you can have different types of phases as well. You can delta phase iron I can have liquid. Right. And if you keep on increasing the carbon percentage, then after a certain point you will get something called cast iron.
So you can see how the thermodynamics is related to each and every aspect of uh, the science. Okay. So I will stop here. I am in the Google Classroom. Pe jo, uh, Study material to look at It's not that uh, everything we have to bug up and it will come in the examination. As I mean, just for an understanding data. Okay. Uh, the classes when we discuss around that will be those things that, that also I will tell you which is important for the examination purpose. But I will suggest that you go through all the study materials. If you don't understand, you can ask me directly. Uh, ask, uh, you, can, you can ask me questions. Okay. Or you can personally meet me, call me, whatever you would like. So I will give you some books. I will try to cover up not only uh, thermodynamics, but the whole interior materials engineering. So if, if, even if you are not able to understand a certain aspect in another area, why you can just cover up. Okay. So I will stop here.